Yeah. Uh, uh. Started with zero, now we here. Started with zero, now we got 250 subs. Started with zero, now we here. We started with zero, now we got 250 subs. Started with zero, now we here. We started with zero, now we got 250 subs. Started with zero, now we here. Uh. Started with zero, now we got 250 subs. Yo, 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 what's up, hashtag nerd swaggers? It is I, your friendly neighborhood comic book reviewer, Steven Savelli, and I'm here today to give a huge, giant, warm thank you to everybody who has subscribed to our YouTube channel. We just hit 250 subscribers. I said when we did that, I would do a contest giveaway. So that's what this video is here today. Once again, this is just as a complete thank you to all you guys for supporting the channel, commenting, going and liking our Facebook page, hanging out with us there. Um, it's just really awesome to be a part of a community of nerds and geeks. I mean, we don't got to separate those, but um, just a community where people can talk about the things I love and you love and, and a lot of people in the world love. And YouTube is a great way to connect a lot of us from all over the world. So this is a thank you video. I'm gonna show a few of the prizes right now. I'm gonna give away the contest details, and at the end, I'll show off a few more prizes, and yeah, that's that. The first prize I wanna show off is to me the coolest prize, and that is <clears throat> a Guardians of the Galaxy Groot Pop Funko Vinyl. Um, I bought this ugh, probably three months ago, um, and I really bought it to resell it because it's selling online for like 30 plus bucks, but you know, I haven't opened it. It's been sitting on a shelf. I haven't listed on eBay. And this is going to be my first giveaway as a thank you to one lucky winner of this contest giveaway. So we got a Guardians of the Galaxy Groot Pop Funko Vinyl. We also got two Guardians of the Galaxy exclusive posters. One's the IMAX poster and one was the exclusive 17 minute poster. And there's going to be a bunch more cool stuff that I'm going to show off at the end of this video that one of you will win in this contest giveaway. Now, let's go over some rules real, real quick. Here's what I don't wanna do. I don't wanna make this just about YouTube creators. I wanna say thank you to everybody that subscribed to our channel, whether you make YouTube videos or not. And I wanna, you know, shake it up a little bit. So here's how it's gonna work. There's gonna be three different levels of entries. Each level will get you some more entries. So the first way to get entered into the contest is to leave a comment down below on this YouTube channel with the answers to the to the seven questions I'll be going over here in a few minutes. You leave a comment down below in the YouTube comment section, you will get one entry to the contest. Now, the next way to enter the contest is if you go and you like our Facebook page, the link is right here. You go like our Facebook page, you comment the answers and response to the questions I'm gonna ask you guys here in a minute. So there'll be seven questions. You go like our Facebook page and you comment the answers there. That'll get you three entries to the contest. So one entry for commenting down below in the YouTube video, three entries for going and liking and commenting on our Facebook page. And the last way is if you make a YouTube video. If you make a YouTube video response for this, you title the video hashtag nerdswag 250 subs contest that will get you 10 entries to this contest giveaway you can enter all three ways you can comment down below you can go like our facebook page and comment there and then you can make a youtube video and post it titled hashtag nerd swag 250 subs contest that'll get you the one entry for youtube the three entries for facebook and the 10 for for making a YouTube video, that will get you 14 total entries in 30 days, which will be what, November 8th now? That'll be the end of the contest. And the following week, I will upload a video where you will see me live select the winner to the contest. So there's one main rule other than how you enter the contest. The one main rule is you have to be subscribed to the hashtag NerdSwag 
YouTube channel. So make sure if you're sharing this video to get your friends um, and buddies that you know to enter this contest, make sure they subscribe to our YouTube channel. That is the one rule. So subscribe to the YouTube channel, leave comments here, leave comments on Facebook, or make a video. Those are all different ways to get injuries. I will leave a live, <clears throat> um, I will make a live video where I draw the winner and all the details of all that I will make sure are down in the description below. But let's jump into the questions. So these are all questions that you will need to answer. The first question, if you were creating a superhero team with five members and there were no like company lines like DC or Marvel or anything, you just, you could pick whoever and you had to make a superhero team with five members, who would those members be? Now there's, one, there's a few rules. You need at least one leader. Who would be your leader? You need one brains of the operation. You need one rebel. You need one brute. And you need to pick one villain that you think would be cool as a good guy. So one leader, one brains, one rebel, one brute, and one villain turned good. One villain that you are going to turn good. I'm going to give you the answers to mine now. My leader of my superhero group would be Daredevil. I think he's awesome matt murdoch is a, a great um superhero and i think he would be a awesome leader of people when you see the rest of my team you'll kind of see how it fits together i, I gave a, a lot of thought to who's going to be on my superhero team so our leader or my leader would be daredevil my brains of the operation he's going to play number two is actually batman got the batman hat here so batman will be the brains um what, what's great about that is I love superhero teams where the number one and number two could kind of switch and they argue a lot and they kind of like, you know, call each other out for not making the right decision. I think Daredevil and Batman, both investigating stuff, both hyper intelligent, both kind of standoffish. Um, I think they'd be really fun to read together in a comic book or watch in a cartoon or a movie. So the leader for me, Daredevil, the brains of my group, Batman. And the rebel of my group is Black Panther. So my three guys that I have so far are all fighters, which is super cool. So he'd be my rebel. The brute of my group would be Colossus because that guy doesn't get enough shine and he is awesome. He's just super cool. And the villain that I would turn good at to add some spice to this group would be Sinestro. Um, I just think he'd be really fun to see as a good guy with this group of characters. None of these people have crazy hyper powers. Um, Colossus turns the metal. Daredevil can like sense stuff, but Sinestro would bring like that superhero um, power quality to the group. So, um, and the next part is what would you name your group? And I would name that group The Oath. Yeah, I think it sounds cool. All right, question number two. What is your favorite Super Nintendo game? Mine, Final Fantasy III. It's actually my favorite game of all time. It just happens to be on the Super Nintendo. So what is your favorite Super Nintendo game? If you never had a Super Nintendo, that's weird. But what's your favorite oldest game ever? But please try to do Super Nintendo games. Question number three. If you could choose your dream nerdy job, what would it be? Mine, I would love to have a talk show on TV to talk about all this kind of stuff, to talk about nerdy stuff, to debate stuff, to talk about games, comic books, all that. I would love to be a host of a TV show doing that. That'd be my favorite nerdy job. Question number four, how old were you when you read your first comic book and what was it? I was probably like six or seven and my first comic book was, at least that I remember, the Spawn issue number one. I was super stoked to see Spawn on a shelf when I was a kid and I actually bought it the day it came out, something like that. And, uh, it's totally not a kid's book, but that's the first comic book I read. So what's the first, how old were you when you read your first book and what was it? Question number five, if you had one superpower, what would it be? And would you be good or bad? I'd definitely be a good guy and I would love to fly. I have reoccurring dreams of flying all the time, so that's kind of crazy, but yeah, I would love to fly. Question number six, do you believe Pluto should be a planet? You know, when I was growing up, Pluto was a planet. There was nine planets in the solar system. Then I get older. Then they take away Pluto now. There's only eight planets. Now they're talking about putting Plano back into the mix of being a planet. So do you think Pluto should be labeled a planet? I'm going to say no. I mean, Pluto's smaller than most moons um, in our solar system. There, there are many moons just as big or if not bigger than Pluto. And I'm going to say no. 
Pluto should not be a planet. It's a dislodged moon. It's 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 not big enough to be classified as a planet, I guess. And yeah, looking forward to your answer on that. It's a weird question. Yeah. Anyway, question number seven and the final question of the contest is: What is your favorite genre of movie? And what is your favorite movie in that genre? My favorite genre of movie is an epic action drama. And my favorite movie in that genre is Gladiator. Um, Russell Crowe, Joaquin Phoenix, directed by Ridley Scott. It's not only my favorite movie in that genre, it is actually my favorite movie of all time. Specifically, the director's cut of that movie is fantastic. Joaquin Phoenix is, to me probably my favorite it's my favorite portrayal of a villain in a movie ever i don't i can't necessarily describe why that is it just it really hits home to me that that character and that whole entire movie and story so that's the last question for the contest slash giveaway i would like to say thank you for entering remember you can get one entry by commenting below in the youtube comments of this video you can get three entries by going to our Facebook page, liking it, and commenting your answers to these questions on our Facebook page. And finally, you can get 10 points by making a YouTube video, uploading it titled Hashtag NerdSwag 250 Subs Contest. And you can do all three of those things and get 14 entries. Uh, just remember, the one caveat is you must be subscribed to our YouTube channel. Um, so at the beginning, I showed off a few things for giveaways. I'm going to run down the rest of the giveaways that will be in the contest. And yeah, let's do that real quick. I went over the Pop um, Funko Guardians of the Galaxy Groot um, that, that uh, will be given away. Um, yeah, I'm pretty excited to give this away. It's one of my favorite Funkos that I have. I I bought it to resell it, but I would rather give it away. It's it's not worth buying and reselling for thirty bucks. I'd rather give it away to you guys as a as a thank you to a lucky winner. Um, also, I showed off, or also we're gonna give away this mystery mini Punisher, which I'm kind of excited about. It's a little bobblehead, um, so that'll be in the contest giveaway. We got two Guardians of the Galaxy posters. One is an exclusive IMAX poster. The other was the exclusive IMAX 3D first look poster. Um, those will be both um, in the box for the contest winner. I will be giving away the Dawn of the Planet of the Apes novelization book written by Alex Irvin and published by Titan Books. This is a fantastic book and a fantastic movie. So I'm excited to give away this, this nerd swag right here. The next item on the docket is The Art of Fred Gambino, Dark Shepherd. Now, this is a hard hardcover book, pretty thick here, retails at $34.95. Um, who Fred Gambino is, he's a concept artist. Concept artist for video games, movies, um, concept, these are all digital concept art on like Photoshop and stuff. Concept artist for music, uh, CD covers, um, for posters, for characters, um, just really, really really cool stuff so some cool sci-fi concept art i'm really excited to give this away as part of the giveaway um i think there's yeah there's a some pretty cool stuff in here um some futuristic city concept art but yeah that'll be in the free giveaway another hard pack hardcover book that i'll be putting in the giveaway is adventure time the original cartoon title cards this is a hardcover book this one retails in 1995 and this is concept art for Adventure Time episodes. So it shows the title cards for those episodes and how the artist developed that idea for that episode. So that'll be in the contest giveaway box. Next up, we got a stack of comic books. Um, we got free Batman books. We got some old school Marvel comics. We got old school DC comics with the Robin foil cover. We got some Dark Horse comics. Check this out. I'm going to be giving away Alien vs. Predator issue number one. Alien vs. Predator issue number two. And then we got Robocop vs. Terminator. This is written by Frank Miller with art by Walt Simonson. This is issue number one. We got issue number two. And issue number four. 
um, for the this cover is really cool for the giveaway. Um, we also got DC Comics Superheroes Legos comic book, um, which folds out into a poster. Um, but yeah, we got this. I will also be throwing in some extra comics that I'm not going to show here. And I'm going to put in one special graphic novel um, that will be a mystery for the winner. Moving on, we have some stuff from San Diego Comic Con. So... I didn't go to Comic Con, San Diego Comic Con this year, but I live about an hour and a half away from where it is held. And a coworker of mine went and brought me back a bunch of cool stuff. So first, I have this Gotham lanyard with the Gotham badge, which is exclusively to San Diego Comic Con. I will be throwing in the box. And next up, this was this wasn't given away just at Comic Con; it was given away a bunch of places. But I have one. And this is the 75 years of Batman poster. It gives you the rundown of the history of it, that character. Uh, I'm a Batman fan. Yeah, I'm wearing an anti-Batman hat. Don't let that fool you. Um, so that'll be in the contest giveaway. Last but not least, we have the 2014 souvenir book from Comic-Con International San Diego, July 24th through 27th, 45th year. Um, this art was done by Jim Lee, and I, also, I actually sometimes wear this shirt um, when I do reviews and stuff. But what's really cool about this is it has a lot of concept art and articles with interviews from the creators of a bunch of important, iconic, nerd swag, pop culture icons. We have some concept art to Hellboy. And it's not just like an advertising book. It is legit concept art um, and really cool stuff. This was only given away at San Diego Com Com Comic Con. It's super thick. Look at all these pages. Um, and yeah. Game of Thrones. I'm just stoked to give that away. So that is the lot for this contest giveaway. Um, I'm really excited for a lot of these things. This one, <laughs> I'm just so stoked to be able to give this away. And there will be some surprise stuff thrown in. But look, it's not about it's not about this stuff. What it is about just really showing my appreciation and thank you for supporting us and all the stuff that we do here on our YouTube channel on our Facebook page, on our website, hashtag nerdswag.com. In all those avenues, there's been tons and tons of support. Um, we got 16,000 unique, unique views to our website last month. We have over 7,700 likes on our Facebook page. We just hit 270 plus subscribers. Um, so this 250 subs contest giveaway is, is for all that and, and just a sign of appreciation and a thank you to all of you guys. So hope you guys enjoy the contest. Hope you enjoy the questions. I'll leave the details down below in the description and you know, good luck. And I look forward to watching your videos, reading your comments and finding more out about you. Cause you just see me talk here all the time and I'd love to find out more about you guys. So once again, thank you very much and happy entries. Peace.